Hello, everybody. This is a video in answer to a comment on Painter Factory. Um, Harry was talking about the Painter UI and how um, clean and simple it is. And then there are others who are talking about it as being pretty horrible. And, you know, it's, it's sort of in the eye of the holder in this case, I think, and what you get used to. I, like Harry, like it a lot. But um, Harry made a couple of comments that I'd like to sort of clarify just to make sure we're all on the same page. He was also looking at Painter Essentials, and he mentioned that he liked the toolbox flyout. And I'm assuming he means this, that when you click on one of these little triangles down here, you get a flyout so that you have more than one option. Now, with Painter Essentials, those can be very long, but we'll talk about that in just a second. What came with Painter 2015, and a lot of people are not familiar with, if you go up to Windows and arrange palettes, you have a bunch of new palettes that you can have. And these are like arrangements of the objects that are in your workspace. Um, so, for instance, right now we are looking at the default work space or a default arrange palette, which has your regular toolbox, your media toolbox, your brush selection tool, property bar, the search menu, and this grouping of panels here, which would, this would be called a palette. The whole thing is called a palette. The individual uh, stuff inside are referred to as panels. Okay. So that's what most of us are used to looking at. But if you go here and go to Arrange Palettes and click on Simple, now a whole new arrangement is going to pop up. Uh, one of the first things that you might notice is there's no uh, selection, no brush selector, property bar, and so forth. You have this shorter uh toolbox, which is referred to as the simple toolbox. And here your flyout menus are more like what you see in Painter Essentials. Um, up here you have your brush categories and your brush variants. So this is very much like what it looked like in Painter 11 or 10, I think, where you would change your categories and change your variants per category. This is called the command bar. And you have new, save, redo, undo, uh, clip. This would be copy, paste. Uh, now, if you want to see your layers panel, panel, you just click there and it pops up and it goes away. This is your brush tracking. You can click it on the fly and it pops up. And this uh, are the hints panels that give you the hints about each uh, toolbar. Then for the color wheel, you have the same little color wheel that is available with um, Essentials, but it is a toggle that brings it in and off, or on and off. So, I mean, these are pretty cool things. Now, you can adjust this to the way you like it. For instance, you may want different setups. So, I once you adjust it, you can save your layout. So I have Skip Simple Layout saved. And uh, once you save that layout, if you mess up your layout or you've been adding, opening up panels and hadn't closed them and it's gotten in a mess, all you have to do is go up there and click on Arrange Palettes and your palette again and it pops in place. Now, what I've done differently is I've added back the brush selection um, panel and I've added back the property bars. I don't need the search for the moment. I have made the command bar vertical by going into preferences and changing it to vertical. I'm using the simple toolbar, which I like very much. And I've added a toolbar that really, this is just a custom palette closed up. And I've taken the commands that I put here and changed them to their available icons. So these are four commands that I think I need that were not here on this uh, group. Now, also, there are all sorts of things that you may not have noticed. Single document view. I noticed that Harry liked to use a single document view. So you can use that. You can use, you know, bring up your layer adjuster 
uh, your panel, layer panel, anytime uh, you want. Uh, so, and I could switch to my layer adjuster tool like that. Now, the layer adjuster tool is found with the um, selection tools. Um, and I've added a selection adjuster, which wasn't there. Those are the ones that I use most. But anyway, you can make an extremely simple streamline uh, UI. Whatever you want, you can do. I mean, that's the beauty of... Uh, Painter is that you really can set these up in a very uh, usable way. Okay, I hope that helps and gets us all on the same page. Bye-bye.